we're coming to an end uh, of painting this room and uh, I just want to show you guys something when we get to the very very end of this um, just basically uh, just want to harp on the the fact that I know that whenever you first start painting with these brushes with these big uh, painters brushes drywall brushes it's it can seem um, impossible it can feel like one second get my wet rag and, uh, get that drip I just got off okay um, it can feel impossible working this big old brush uh, you you you're having drips like I just had which I just wiped up with a wet rag but uh basically um just keep going persistence is key with these brushes eventually it becomes second nature uh, to learn how to flex these bristles and how to dip it and exactly what to do with it so I just want to show like in a difficult position like to get in these corners it's all about your angle your angle is everything and you want to come up be trained be well trained with the brush uh, just like mus muscle memory for me but when you start it's not going to be like muscle memory it's going to be real awkward so just uh you know get these little corners and just come through and finesse it have some finesse um now that's all done it's all good uh you can replay that back a few times and see how i did my wrist see how i placed the excess paint on top and I came down um. yeah so now uh, Got this nice and rounded around here. Um, this is the last thing that actually Nate's already got that cut in for me. So, um, yeah, so what we did is we, uh, well, I'll stop to do this right here. After I do this, um, I can officially say the grass has been mowed, so to speak. Um, So I'm gonna get this corner over here by this door. Um, and now that this is all done, and actually, you know what, people? I didn't cut in the top of this door frame. So like I said, the bottom cut in man is gonna get the top of the door frame as well because he can reach it so bottom cut in man gets everything he can reach from his feet now sometimes you got a guy that's you know six foot five and he can cut in tops i don't know about here because these are 10 foot ceilings but sometimes if you got eight or nine foot ceilings you got a real tall guy it's good to put him on top cut in duty because he can reach it um and you know somebody like me who's not as tall is gonna have to have a uh, like a step stool or something um, so yeah, what we have done effectively is we have mowed the grass, so to speak. We started in that corner, came down, it's all dry now, so it's harder to see. But we cut in, cut all around that, got that all done, cut in all through there, up, we got all around the shelf, uh, cut all around that, we cut down here, got all this, we cut all through here. Um, that's all been cut in, as I stated, cut in around the window sill, cut inside the window, cut inside that window, um, cut all down there, cut around all that. It's all nice and thick, uh, cut in the bottoms there, and it doesn't really matter to get those corners, and I'll show you why when I do the rolling tutorial in the morning. I've actually got to run and grab a check, so... This is going to be the only tutorial today, just the cut-in of this room. Um, and yeah, this is the nitty-gritty, guys. This is how it's done. Uh, this room has been cut in. That window's been cut in all around. The fixtures and all, it's all been cut in there. So uh, this room, the bottom has been cut in. All we have to do now is cut in the tops all around the ceiling border. 
And when we get done cutting in the tops, we roll it and this room is painted. And uh, it took me about an hour to cut in these bottoms. That's a pretty basic time. Uh, I wasn't exactly humping it. I wasn't taking my time either. Uh, that's about how long it should take. About an hour to cut in a room like this. So uh, the bottoms and the tops would be less time. The tops would be about half as that because you don't have to cut in all your detailed stuff. Uh, you know, the cutting in, you know, of all this. When you do the tops, you're just doing line work. You just line work all the way around. The hardest thing about cutting in the tops is moving whatever it is you're standing on. So that's tutorial uh, number one for just cutting in this bedroom. Uh, that's step number, well not one, step number one is filling in the holes. So we'll say that's step number two is uh, cutting in the bottoms. Next we'll cut in the top and then we'll roll. Thank you guys for watching. Um, Ocean's Painting Service, how to paint, how to start your own painting business. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. All right.